<laughs> Who knows what evil lives in the heart of game? <laughs> the Shadow Snows. Hi, I'm The Shadow Snows and I'm back with another Let's Compare video. Tonight I'll compare uh, the game Pac Mania on the uh, Commodore 64, the Amstrad CPC, the Atari ST and the Commodore Amiga. And this is uh, the fourth episode of my Pac-Man special week, eh? the week. So let's see how the Commodore 64 version plays. It has the cutscenes. And it looks quite blocky. I mean, Lego bricks are supposed to look blocky, but not that blocky. And you've got uh, the scrolling maze like in uh, in uh, uh, Junior Pac-Man, but as an addition you can jump. What is the R? I don't know. Oh, that was mean. And the funny uh, thing is all ghosts start in the same corner with this version. So it's easy to figure out where the ghosts uh, start. And I don't know if it's useful. to know where the ghosts start. And uh, you can choose if you uh, would like to have uh, music or sound effect. You can have both, I think. Nice cutscene. And the walls of the maze change. Not every round. You have to complete more levels in uh, later rounds to get uh, a new a new maze style. But there are some variations in this game. And it's still Pac-Man. And it looks a little bit more three-dimensional on uh, on the 16-bit systems. <clears throat> so I'll uh, edit here and uh, try uh, how far I can make it and show you some later levels. So I'll continue with the next world, Sandbox Land. I probably won't make it uh, any further. So again, a different maze. Not only it's a different maze, it's a different maze graphics. Uh, and I'm already dead, so I couldn't show you too much of that. But it's it plays quite fast. It it looks ugly but music is quite nice and it plays uh, really well. So let's see how it, uh, how the Amstrad version plays. Okay back with the Amstrad version. Music is quite nice. Pretty close to the uh, arcade music but um, yes the graphic looks like 
a spectrum conversion and it's very very slow doesn't look too bad but it is really slow not that the Android is famous for uh, very quick games but I think this is even slow for an Amstrad. And I also hate that you move uh, much slower when you move up or down than if you move left, left or right, left or right. That's even worse than just being slow. And you only have uh, two thirds of the screen as a playfield. The rest is occupied by uh, the score and, and life and and so on. So I could imagine if uh, they would whole, use the whole screen, it would be even slower. And the sherry on the right is uh, is red. Why couldn't they uh, do a red sherry on the playfield? And I won't play this. Uh, and the goes start in the same corner again. Good to know. Don't do this corner at the start of the at the beginning of the level. It really would be more fun if it were a little bit faster. So music is quite nice, game is horrible. Too slow. Okay, I eat some ghosts and finish the, the level to show you the <coughs> the second second round with the different graphics. But this isn't too much fun. But at least it has the cutscenes. And you can skip them. But as far as I can see, at least they kept the maze. It's pretty much the same as on the Commodore 64. The layout, I mean. And I like that. It's always good if they try to uh, make a a port and uh, keep the level design. But this is way too slow to be uh, fun. So I think I'll stop right now and continue with the Atari ST version. <coughs> so back with the Atari ST version. 
and the play field is even smaller than on the uh, on the amps. And again, you can skip the cutscenes, and they are very very long. But besides that, the graphics looks quite nice. It has some quite smooth uh, scrolling, so maybe that's uh, why they limited the screen, the playfield to uh, such a small uh, area. That's not too bad, but you can't see too much of the maze and and plan your moves. Maybe they should have uh, reduced the size of the Pac-Man and everything. At least a little. But it's not too bad. It could be a little bit faster. But the controls are good and the music is pretty close to the arcade. I hate it when ghosts run away. I just want to eat them. So they can stop being ghosts. Mania really is a 16-bit game. It just looks, doesn't look right on, on an 8-bit system. And the ghosts are more clever too. This is a game I really look forward to play uh, the Amiga version. Not that this is a bad game, it, it really plays very good. <coughs> but it's just, I know the Amiga version and it's, it's, it's better. For an Atari game it has uh, really really smooth uh, scrolling. But as I said before it could be a little bit a little bit faster. Ah and the place could uh, be a little bit bigger. Then I would have seen uh, the second ghost and wouldn't have tried.
and this level will repeat once again and uh, then there will be uh, the, the sandbox level but I think uh, I showed enough uh, of the ST version and I switched to the Amiga version Okay, back with the Amiga version, and this is proper Pac-Mania. I start with the first level again. And as many Amiga games, it loads quite a bit. But it's worth it. As you can see, it uses the full uh, PAL screen, and I had to zoom out quite a bit to get the whole uh, screen on camera and it loads again after the cutscene great but again it's worth it and this is how I remember Pac-Mania and I have to remember to rework my joystick the up direction is still broken so I probably won't make it too far luckily the micro switches are still available but this is great this is a real upgrade to Pac-Man Very smooth scrolling, nice sounds and animation is great, music is awesome, graphics are really colorful and this joystick really sucks. But I try to, f to make it at least to the next round. And again, up didn't work. Great. But this is one of the later uh, competition pros that I use. And the uh, micro switches are soldered. So I have to get out. Hey, I did. He did. I have to fetch my soldering iron, warm it up, and that's the reason why I haven't yet done it. And again, I just wanted to go up. Great. Let's have another run. So let's see if I can make it with a broken joystick. But the micro switches in the uh, newer competition pros were amazingly crappy. So it's no wonder that they break. I probably will replace all micro switches and not just the broken one. And they are still available. Uh, and they are not that expensive.
And I'm sure I did eat the pill. But I made it to the second round. And again it loads. And another cutscene. I would run too if I, if that many ghosts were behind me. And again, much more colors than even on the uh, ST version. And the music is great uh, again. Yes, I will get you. Oh, come on. But with the working joystick, this is an awesome uh, Pac-Man game. So I think it's it's clear which uh, version of Pac-Mania I prefer. It's just that much better than any other version I've played. Not that the uh, ST version or the uh, Commodore 64 version are uh, bad games, but this is so much better. Oh, come on. And I probably won't make this round. No, I won't make it. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.